mute. If someone could say something real quick, please. Testing, testing. That One, two, three. <laughs> that did the trick. Okay, folks, we are back. I apologize. Um, for the, I apologize for the late stream, uh, technical difficulties, and the GM pulling his hair out. However, we are back, and we are at part two of the season finale of Star Trek Adventures Nighthawk. Um, just due to everything that's been going on, I am going to attempt to make this a weekly thing from now on. Some of the sessions may be a little lighter in tone, and a little shorter, but it's all for our entertainment as well as yours so we'll do that until this whole work from home thing is over or the gm has another an has another aneurysm he just recovered from the one he had with the crossover episodes anyways uh quickly to quickly summarize is that over the vitar's uh, moon of illus or ilsa uh you have discovered that the um that the uh hidden area that was once held for individuals who were um, genetically incompatible to the cloning process is now being used for a garbage dump for anyone who opposes the current regime of Japler the final. Uh, you have been asked by the community leader to take out the holographic generators and I believe that you had uh, prevented a, a potential suicide ex a suicide bomb going off in one of the shuttles that were carrying some willing, well, let's just say some unwilling passengers. Anyways, we are going to start in the uh, briefing room. Uh, and the Shran has just figured, uh, laying out his elaborate plan mostly involving uh, disco balls, disco music, and f the flooding of airways with BGs, um, and the like. So, please take it away. But, Commander Thrashan, didn't we use your last disco ball on the Draven compound when we're fighting the, was it the Anshi, the Ashi? We'd have to build a whole new one. I don't know how long that'll take. Oh, yeah. Right. I forgot about that. But I am working on one. It's going to be awesome. It just won't be ready for a few days. I have to make sure all the mirrors are precisely aligned. And he side-eyes Lieutenant Bayard. I said I was sorry. He shrugs. Sacrifices must be made. Well, in any case, people, ancient Earth pop ballads aside, back to the matter at hand. Uh, sir, the the leader of the Enclave, the one that we had dealt with on our first entrance there, had passed away, and the new leader tends to have things going a little bit more militant since the change of the Enclave being used as a dumping ground for political prisoners, not just those who are incompatible with the cloning process. And she asked us flat out, to invade, correct me if I'm wrong, but asked us to uh, destroy the holographic generators to send a signal to the planet that something's amiss with Jocks are the final regime. Japalor the final. That seems correct, sir. The links they were, uh, they were planning on going through seemed ex It's I've, I've seen that look before, sir. It's no hope, and you're reaching for anything to make a change. While I definitely empathize with the plight of these people, Mr. Helsing... Be careful not to glide so deeply into their desperation. However, this could potentially work in our favor. Them asking us to assist them with destroying with a holographic generator could be interpreted as a request for aid. Of course, in a discretionary capacity. 
Uh, it is a type of government asking for assistance. So, Captain, are you saying we bend the Prime Directive? Well, I would never necessarily enforce full on breaking it, but that Amy, if such events were to come to pass, it doesn't necessarily seem like it would be unknown or unfamiliar to some of us. Of course, of course, you know, clearly, you know, interfering with the affairs of a sovereign power is expressly forbidden in the Federation Charter, but you know, if they're if uh, distraught people are asking us for aid, I'm compelled, to, and this crew is compelled to listen. Are we not? And technically, they are a warp capable civilization. They just don't have any warp capable ships at the moment. Not to mention the fact that they're building a fleet against the Federation. Uh -uh. It would be a how do I put it? Distraction for a uh, temporary that we could be prepared for this on another front. And I see two ways we could get in and destroy the generators. And we do it stealthily. And I think we have the team that could do that. And that would be time on our side, or we use a cutout. Uh, the Draven, for instance, use them to come in. They already have a history with them, and it wouldn't be something the Batars wouldn't see as out of the ordinary. This uh, definitely points in our favor, and uh, of course, I mean, even if such if these events were to take place, the Federation is pulling. Well, we specifically are pulling out of this sector in a few days. It's not exactly in the public's eyes of the Vitae's empire, we, we will make a lot of sense for us to possibly launch a clandestine operation on their on foreign soil if we're leaving. Uh, but the Cerebus station still stays behind. Uh, that's true, but additionally, that's a matter of degrees. And, you know, at some point in time, I'm sure possibly assigning blame would have to be difficult. Considering, you know, the events that may or may not happen. Are there any other species in the area that we could like disguise or make make the attack look like it's coming from that the Vatars already have a beef with? This um a group that just attacked uh, Cerebus um, when the um, the freed Borg came in something collective uh, chief koak or chief koak uh, looks up from his pads from the alliance and it's unlikely yeah. considering that they're through the through their t wormhole thing the gate that's it it's through one of those transwarp gates well we might be able to make it look like it came you know, if we had used any explosives and actually left behind clues that it was tied to them, it would throw suspicion. Well, I'm all for casting suspicion, but considering the events that happened on Sabre Station, it's my understanding that these people are now our allies, thanks to the actions of Captain Crawford. Am I incorrect in that? The Remnant or the, the, the Freed Borg? The Freed Borg. Freed Borg, yes. Oh, but, okay. the, but the remnant yeah the one who are hunting the freed board is that the remnant yeah that's right okay that's the remnant that's right. those go go ahead no th those are the ones i'm i'm thinking we leave as the patsies bad wouldn't raise a hand oh, go ahead bad um if that's so train of thought right now we have a potential candidate in the brig although all 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 things considered he's nest our current akashi is not necessarily somebody that i want to let off his leash just quite yet <laughs> i 
can understand that, sir. <laughs> the, the, the chaos that could be wrought is intriguing, but I see way too many, like, agree with the captain, too many, too much collateral damage of innocence. If we're on agreement of doing this, I think we just sent down our own team. Uh, but <laughs> we make it, we could disguise ourselves and leave behind clues that would lead them to think it was the Remnant Alliance. Uh, the shrine quickly raises a, uh, his antenna. Sir, what about the Zealous? The They were already opposed the, to the Vitars on that weapon planet we ran across a couple months back. Weren't they the supercomputer people that were finding the Borg correct. on the, the planet? Uh, correct. They were of the... They were the hive or they were once the assimilated with the additional redundancy of a second ai which to me just seems completely unnecessary they haven't been aggressive towards the federation and i don't want to leave you know potentially put you know the vitar's target on them and they've actually helped us or help the service in the past. Have they now? Even after what we did to them. How kind. The zealous? Out of, out of character. The zealous were... When we're talking about the weapon planet, yeah. uh, the zealous, that was during our... Uh, when we took... When we uh, disabled that super weapon, right? That's right. That yeah. Other. Yeah. Okay. They never really pinned it on you, and instead just... Because you didn't leave much in the way of survivors, if I recall right. <laughs> I got them. That's not the one with the Romulans for yep. watching the planet. That yep, was the ones those are the, the ones... Okay. Yeah, those are the ones that we helped build or create, almost. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well... Ladies and gentlemen, well, I think we necessarily have a uh, plan of action. The only difference is that who exactly is going to take the fall for this? I suppose we do have the Zealous or the Remnant Alliance, either one for the other. Which, and the only decision in that case is which one do we have more information on so we can better lead a false trail of clues. Um, I guess I could do a security check to into the, the archive into the records to see what we do have, and it doesn't take a lot to throw suspicion. I agree, but in this case, we want suspicion to last as long as it takes. All right, so here's what I'm proposing: as much as the idea intrigues me. And I agree that it's best accomplished if we destroy the holographic generators with our old team. We'd have to necessarily make sure that they're prepared. Go ahead and task long range. Go ahead and task long range sensors on that, on the uh, on the coordinates that they gave you. Let's see if you get our team as prepared as possible and make sure they get go in and out. Ideally, in this situation, I would actually like you to go with the rest of the Batars dissidents to assist them. But I also want to be very careful about not training terrorists. In this case, if you can tell me that we can do it ourselves and get in and out without suspicion, I'll go ahead and authorize the mission. In the meantime, I want to make sure when we hit them, they know all of the Imperium, or at least Japalair, the final, has immediate, it gets and requires her immediate attention. In that case, in terms of additional fact finding and seeing exactly how the Imperium reacts, I like another secondary away team to return to the Vax homeworld to monitor the fallout. To the Vax homeworld? The Vitar's homeworld of Vax. I'm sorry, the Vitar's homeworld of Vax. Or at so least get close. At least they're, dip they're for diplomatic channels. At least okay. I, I want them to I want them to get close enough to we could see exactly how the political situation falls out. 
there's only so much that you can actually gain over sensory information and the sensor grid. And if their military changes in any significant way, I want to make sure that we are the first to realize it. Covert on both? On, on both. that team as well? Of so course. Set up a blind, that type of thing? Of course. In any case, if we need to... <laughs> if we need to, you know, massage the airwaves in any particular way, and it requires our immediate assistance, even if the society doesn't necessarily want it to be known, well, we want to make sure that we could force Japalier the final not to ignore it. Any questions? No, sir. No, sir. Very well. Steam is dismissed. P Department heads, please bring to me a list of potential candidates, and let's get this underway immediately. Dismissed. Trask goes, right, two covert ops. I'm going to need two disco balls. <laughs> <sighs> as he mutters as he makes his way out. <clears throat> okay, so it sounds like we are going to do a couple things. So, so we're going to, first of all, get uh, more detailed scans of the planet, or the moon. Is that what? We are getting more detailed scans of the moon in general because we're going to go prep a, an infiltration message. And we're also going to, I didn't specify it too well, but I'd like to, uh, when we go to the home, to the Vatax home world of Vax, considering that's where these uh, dissidents are going back anyway, right? Forcibly. Right. I'd like to go fo uh, go ahead and follow them, monitor them, while also making sure Japalier the final can't ignore what we're about to do. Perfect. Okay, so first of all is the orbital scans of said planet, or said moon, which is going to be a Vaid thing. And because oh, you're right. trying to get details on a set of stuff that is quite hidden. Um, um, uh, one, one thing was when we visited there before, mm -hmm. um, and we're being escorted by... Uh, Chucks for the mighty. Could look like use a team momentum that we have to create an advantage that when we were there that last time we were getting scans and of, of that area that we we're being escorted through. Like the uh, the city and all that stuff, sure. Exactly, where we could potentially identify some place where we could set up a blind. Oh, um, yeah, you, uh, yeah, you can set up a duck blind on the moon, sure. Or well, I mean, on, on the planet, oh. on the planet itself. Oh, 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 on the back on the planet. You, oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Joplin of the Minor, they escorted us, and they yeah. did all that, and we had talks with key people and whatnot. Yep, can be done. That's your advantage. Feel free to spend that momentum. Go with you, Cap. I... That elim eliminates one problem. Okay, so... Uh, so, if I could please ask um, Vaed to roll me an Insight plus Science, please. And okay. the ship can roll Sensor Science. Then this is going to be a difficulty of two. Ooh. Yes. Okay. That's a... Um, Success, add a complication, and two more momentum from the Nighthawk. It's going to be a tennis match each time we roll. Go, <laughs> Yeah, but you could use that two momentum yeah. we just gained to get rid of the complication. Whoa. Oh. You, could. you could. We've got to stay hidden. Okay, so no momentum and no complication. Aw, GM's sad. Okay. <laughs> so, um, by pointing your sensors directly at the sensor, the sensor node, uh, it lights up like a beacon on your internal monitors. It would be very, it would have been very difficult to find this from high orbit, because it is literally meant to stay hidden. But it appears to be a uh, solar-powered uh, generator, which is 
given the nature of the Vitar sun, it generates a decent amount of radiation. So it makes sense that there be a localized power source to collect it. And it's a power source that doesn't emit much in the way of emissions, so it is a very easily hidden uh, facility. Uh, from from the primary node, it has um, you can detect uh, four other uh, linked stations, all all feeding from this one power station. Uh, it's most likely that these five stations working to all together create the a island-sized power generation or island-sized holographic map or holographic image yeah GM can't talk <clears throat> do those generators feed anything else besides the holographic generator uh, they do not know okay, good because yep. I didn't want to knock out whatever power the enclave did have no the enclave runs from its own and just because the answer to that question was no, uh, science officer gets a free question. Oh. Anything specific you all want me to ask? Um, Something sciencey. Something sciencey. <laughs> Any way to, if the, if we knock out one of these nodes, does it create a cascade effect, kind of like on um, this other IP with star in the first word? When blowing up a certain, not a moon. Are you looking facility? for a, a exhaust port? <laughs> Something like that, yes. Uh, and I don't want any bullions to lose their life for that information. Oh, oh okay. Uh, so yes, if we destroy any of the nodes, will uh, it cause a chain reaction? Uh, so it will not take down, it will not, you know, it is not a load-bearing power structure, meaning that if you blow it up, all the attached hollow generators will not spontaneously blow up. However, you do not detect any sort of backup power generation. So it would take some time to get these generators back, or the hollow, the holographic emitters to be up and running again. So we got to take out the generators. Got it. Mm -hmm. And with her scans, do we have maps and everything sufficient to know what this facility looks like, at least from the outside? Uh, yes, very difficult to miss. It is a island. Well, it's a miniature floating array in the middle of the Ilsa Ocean. Oh. I should have mentioned that okay. first, but yes. Is there any life in the ocean? When we went to the beach, it, I don't remember any. That's because it wasn't relevant. But yes, it is a habitable ocean, and there's most likely uh, life in... Might not be sentient life, but there would be life. Anything like sharks? Anything that could potentially eat us as we're down there trying to make a seaborne infiltration? If you're talking about like you doing scuba uh, insertion, un similar, uncertain, but uh, you'd have to take a craft down to investigate further. So, because one possibility, just to spit on to, to invade, <laughs> is we teleport under the into the ocean, and then swim in. Okay. <laughs> or it's definitely a possibility. Another possibility while you're prepping the mission. Let's mod and I totally want a metagame because I just want to point it out there. Let's <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> unabashedly. Yeah. Let's modify a shuttle. First, let's uh, let's get a submarine shuttle, dude. Let's get that going. I want to do I that. I was just gonna ask that too. Like, can't we just? I mean. The shuttles can go in space. Yeah. Well, the, a lot I of them mean, can do. Can't. A yeah. lot of them can just, without any configuration, they can go in. Oh, yeah. At least they can... from other things I've seen. Oh, 
yeah. I've been doing a lot of ex- I didn't been doing a lot of experience with chroniton particles, and I think there's a Kelvin universe where they've taken an entire starship underwater. Yeah. <laughs> well, That's yeah, awesome. but metagaming, you know, metagaming again. How often do you see people teleporting into the water to do a seaborne infiltration? Come on. You just want to go underwater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'll go I'll go on a submarine. <coughs> just won't be happy about it. The Oh, we don't have a throwaway shuttle, do we? Not anymore. Not anymore. Something that's clean. How this the the power generator being on since it's floating, do we know what it would take to sink it? Um, the island, it's um, let's see. Uh, you've already spent the one free momentum to ask the question, I'm afraid. Um, and you don't have right, any here. left to ask further. So that's either going to have to be a new scan or a alternative means of finding that out i.e shoot it find out well photon torpedoes yeah if only we had the nuke (laughs) (laughs) blame it on the romulans okay so i need a decision please in you know because time um Varric, we get another scan of that to see if we can, instead of going into it and risking exposure to set charges to blow it, if we just set charges underneath it and key points to sink it or sink key components. Whatever explosives. Like, exposure. Whatever explosives that you would like to use need to be a non-federation signature. We can make that happen. Um, sure. That would be, uh, because you're trying to figure out how to blow something up, this is going to be an insight security test, please. And the ship will assist with sensors plus security. Right. This will be a difficulty of two. Insight security. Sensor security for the ship? Correct. Crap, I don't have a good determination to pop. One for the Nighthawk. Um, infiltration. Covert Ops. I'll let Covert Ops work for this. And there, so you get one momentum out of the deal. Uh, three successes, cool. So the island itself is a series of large hexagons that appeared to be kept in place by um, some f- by what appears to be a complex system of um, of a uh, the, of a hover technology um, which keeps it in place or at least prevents it from moving around too much due to the high winds that could typically form over a half ocean or half planet half moon sized ocean um, you're able to figure out the uh, what generators need to be hit um, and in what order so that it could cause it to cascade into the water and not rise again. Now, one last thing. Mm-hmm. Two ways we could I see we could potentially do this, sir. One, we send a team in to do it. Or is it possible... And this will probably be a kind of sharing question um, to use the transporters to transport the charges to those locations. And if so, how close would we have to get with the ship that might put it out of the realm of possibility there? Well, I mean, if you want to transport them, 
if you'd like to transport them, the shuttle just seems like a better option. Yeah, but it, the shuttle's transporter sensors aren't as accurate and finely tuned as the ones on the Nighthawk. Are they? The I'm not an engineer. I skipped that course at, at the academy. <laughs> the I'd like to a ask the Shran if we could link them in series. Uh, the Shran po pokes up from the engineering console that he is currently fiddling on. That is a... Ja you're talking about beaming explosive material inside a jamming field, sir. That's tricky, but no. I can do it. I think. I don't think we'd lose more than one transporter room. <laughs> Yeah. Sitting the shuttle down and then having a team go on. Sounds a better bet, sir. Then we do this the old fashioned way. Hoorah. Settle up, lock and load. Commander Bashir, <laughs> Lieutenant Vayan, what's the status of my Vax infiltration team? But you have. Commander Bashir on the team that's going to be using a blind? I figured I'm going to... I'd be, uh, at least in terms of gathering separate away teams, both of you would be on different tasks for this endless of time and brevity. Roger, but do you remember what happened the last time Commander Bashir was in a blind situation? I didn't say I was sending him down. I just wanted to say I wanted to get the blind together. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just, just imagine all this happening on the bridge. I mean, considering that, I mean, he's very good at it, I might as well put him on that desk. Oh, no doubt about that. <laughs> on top of everything, we have to keep in mind uh, their ability to um, blend in with uh, the people. Uh, this is before you came on, on board. We actually were on a Vitars planet. Um, with a uh, cosplay is not the right word for it, but um, prosthetics. Prosthetics, where we blended in with so the society and actually walked among the locals. But they were able to figure out we weren't one of them when we were down there. No, no, it was the was that Coax or was that the previous Klingon doctor who did that work? It was excellent. I believe that was Coox. Might have been the Vulcan. And we were on the planet for a couple of weeks and made excursions into the town on their train stations. Every, yeah. The only time we almost got caught was they asked us for a code that we didn't have. Uh. But I forgot who it was that came up with. I think that might have been Commander Bashir who BS'd his way through that one. In this case, you don't necessarily need to go ahead and pass any vital security checkpoints. You just need to make sure you can get in close enough to make sure they can't ignore that message. And considering wherever they're taking the rest of these dissidents, you'd probably be in a decent enough place if you followed them in. Now, those dissidents that have been taken are not at all... Are we talking on the... On Vax, the homeworld, or on the moon? On the moon. Because those dissidents have already flown, and the dissidents that are still in the Enclave are on the opposite side of the, the moon from where the generator is. Uh, not quite. So, um, just to... I'll be pinging the screen here. Uh, so, to... Highlight whereabouts things are. The so the facility will be roughly here, and the power generator is still on the ocean, but just you know about oh you're closer about fifty okay. miles okay. Uh, about seventy five kilometers fifty miles away or so. True, because why have it? a gulag next to parts of the, the moon that you actually use for agriculture. Precisely. Agriculture and recreation. Okay. Uh, 
I think we can do uh, it without any collateral damage, sir. I, out of character, I, I think I'm dumb and I missed another step. So the actual place that these dissidents are being taken to is still on the moon? Nope, they're being taken to Vax. Oh, okay, so I'm, yeah. I'm up to speed on that. I'm right, just making sure. All right, cool. And the shuttle's probably in the carrier headed down or yeah, something so like that? They are on... They're on this layer here. And it is ever so slowly. Yeah, it'll be it'll be uh, unloading probably within the next 30 minutes by Jefferson's estimation. All right, then. Well, perfect time whenever they unload to probably transport in. Okay. So let's uh, start talking away teams here. Uh, so, who is going to be on the uh, team for Operation Surf and Turf? Um, put Hanara and myself on Surf and Turf. Okay. This put Loxley for security. Yeah. Yeah, it's the demo team. Uh, demo team, you might want to look into Kassat or Calix. That, that's what I was thinking, it was Kassat. Okay, so we have him, Hanara. Calyx has infiltration and demolitions. Put him. And hacking. Him, 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 him. Who's that? Calyx Zale. He's intelligence officer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I gave him Perfect. demolitions the last time and hacking. I gave him hacking the last time. We already had demo. Calyx Zale. Okay. Okay. I believe yeah. that is uh, four folks for the away team to blow up some islands. So just um, that is Helsing, Hanara, Kassat, and Calix. I'm not hearing objections. Sounds good. Okay, and you're taking a shuttle, correct? All right. I think how are we gonna how are we gonna get the shuttle in undetected? It's only invisible when no one's looking. I mean, when it's still. <laughs> I mean, shuttles are small by default, and this, as a small craft, um, all tests to detect it go up by one degree on on their own. I mean, time isn't necessarily of the essence. We just need to make sure we sync the sync uh, these things correctly. So, I mean, you could just coast in. Okay. And are you going to be taking the USS Ghost? Or what? It, what was it called? That was the sp Spectre. Phantom. The Spectre is the one. Spectre is the gunship. Yeah. Is that the shuttle you'll take, or are you taking the Type XX? Well, the Spectre only has room for like two. Yeah. I mean, you you could cram more people in, but you start taking penalties. I mean, I was thinking the Type XX, and just like I said, just coast. As long as we maintain communications and say, you know, reset, go at the same time, making sure everybody's all right, that's fine. <laughs> We're not in motion. It's. I'm sure he'll have a secret code word for us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so whoever is going to fly the type xx well we only got uh we still have jefferson at the comes from the nighthawk so probably at miss jackson okay yep because i gotta tend to the power of three for flying mm -hmm. but no focus okay so if i could have miss jackson please roll me a uh, control plus con, and the shuttle will assist with uh, engines plus con. Engines con? Yeah. Engines plus con, and this is just to avoid detection. Difficulty of three. So we have one from Miss Jackson. And the shuttle would do... Uh, engines plus con. Engines con. And that's currently one success, so you need two from the shuttle. Okay. That is that. And 
I will manifest a complication. We all pretty much know what the complication is going to be, but it's not going to trigger immediately. So uh, that shot is away. So let's start figuring out who is going to be on the infiltration team for Vax. And the ca the main city of that was called Desrai, or Desray, one or the other. And that's the only set piece I have for him, so that's what we'll use for the moment. So, who's going to be on uh, Team um, D Interference? I would assume I would lead that one unless the captain wanted to and do it as a political thing. Okay, <laughs> sheer. No, as even though uh, memes aside, still best person to go down there is you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just don't reveal yourself this time. <sighs> I'm not making any promises, Kent. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> okay. Uh, so who else is going? Um, what exactly? I mean, I know you want to, are we just going down to observe what happens when the. No, it's not, it's not, it's not just observation. I want to make sure if that the rest of the general, uh, I want to make sure that the Imperium and Jackalier specifically gets the message through just through like a civil, you know, just a civil uproar, not necessarily like riot esque, but if you need to take control of the airwaves or something like that. I want to put you on a planet where you're in the position to make sure it's too big to ignore. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> so, Loxley for security. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. And then somebody for hacking. So if you have to do get into the communication systems, you'd be able to do that. So the binars? They're not going to be subtle to, you know, for... Um, uh, looking. The engineers <laughs> might work. That's what I was just looking at the engineers. I mean, we can take Ronnie off the uh, cobs in the helm and she can go on the away mission. She does have sensor apps. Kassat. He has we have covert Kassat. technology. We're taking him on the uh, demo team. Oh, so, with Cali, it's both did we take Kassat? So no, we took um, Neelix, Keelix, Kelix, instead of Kassat, didn't we? We're taking uh, both. Yeah, you took both. Oh, we took both? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just take Ranny and someone's from okay. on, the, on the bridge. All right. Okay. Ranny. Ranny. So that's her. Okay. Not that's... An... Loxley. Are we taking a. Nara? Has infiltrated. Hanara could work, yeah. I got Hanara. Oh, you have Hanara? Never mind. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, Hanara, me, Kassad, and Kelix. Yeah, or they Kelic. could go. Kelix. Thanks a lot, Commander. Leave me with nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go. take war. <laughs> you want to uh, I can hack. Okay. Okay, so let's deal with the setting up the duck blind first, since we are wait, uh, since everyone is, since we need that set up first before we literally blow things up. So, first of all, is getting people to this uh, to the station covertly. So this is going to require a um, stealth check from the USS Nighthawk which is going to be a control plus engineering. And the ship will assist with uh, structure plus security. And this is going to be an opposed roll. Um, so if you want, I could roll for Thishran or someone else can do the rolling. Thishran. <coughs> Thishran. Okay. So Nighthawk did that. You realize that Thishran's control is an eight. No way. Yep. He is a, a very daring man, but his control plus engineering, not that great. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's see. We have that. 
It's been a while since I've actually had to roll from the sheet. Wow, go for Shran. Okay, so three degrees of success versus Nope. Nope. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so after launching the shuttle, the USS Nighthawk stealthily leaves orbit and begins making its way to the planet. As it reaches this station, um, the station begin, um, Vaid, uh, both Vaid and the, and whoever's currently manning tactical, which I guess would be Yass. Um, Roger. Your, their consoles begin to light up as it appears to be deploying some sort of, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? <clears throat> uh, some sort of, uh, proton beam. It's a not... It's not a hostile, it's not hostile, it doesn't do damage, but it's a very dense sweep of the, sta of the station, or of the, ah, lost ability to speak, of the area of space. Uh, so I need Jefferson Davis, please, uh, to roll me a daring plus contest, and the ship will assist with engines plus con, as he tries so to... Sorry, you said Davis, but we're talking about the shuttlecraft here, so we're talking about Miss Jackson. Uh, right? no, we are now talking about the Nighthawk. We're talking of about the Nighthawk. As, oh. it appro as, as it approaches orbit of the planet of Vax. Gotcha. Yep. Maybe, maybe. So, uh, whoever's got Jefferson Davis, please, please roll me. I got him pulled up right now. Daring plus con. Okay, Nighthawk ah. got one. Cool. And that is two from Jefferson. Nice. That's the three successes you need. Uh, it's close. But you are able to um, dodge these uh, sensor beam, which is probably a very good thing. <clears throat> and the Nighthawk settles into orbit, somehow slipping through an entire military blockade. <clears throat> okay, now, how are you getting to the surface? Transporting. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Y'all can transport. transport. Yeah, okay. so we can get beamed out real quick. <laughs> Fair enough. And can I take the shuttle. Okay. Yep. And you did the. Uh, you previously spent the advantage to find a covert place to beam in, so I will not increase difficulties of that. Uh, because of that, uh, it's still going to be a difficulty of three transporter test. Um, beaming from a platform to not a platform. Um, control plus engineering from probably Miss Zell, and the ship will assist with sensors plus engineering. Difficulty three. Control engineering from Zell? Yep, that's right. Okay, Nighthawk's rolling well. Uh, do they happen to have a focus? Uh, Miss Zell? Yeah. She's the transporter chief, so yeah. Oh. oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, well, I mean, as much as I like to th watch things spiral and go wrong and spiral out of control, I believe she does have some values she could spend to re-roll the uh, zeros. People are counting on me. <laughs> yeah. Never tell me the odds. And this is another activation of her, so you could give her a talent of veteran. So she could possibly get the determination back. I believe those the veteran and junior officer, I believe, are reserved oh, specifically for right. player characters. And she is. Uh, oh, you're also rolling Calix Zale, not Chief Zell. Oh, what? Um, let's see what those yeah. numbers would have been. Doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, one would have still. F yeah, so you would have only had two successes on those rolls. Oh, okay. Succeed a cost? Um, sure. I'll take threat for that. <laughs> okay. 
The away team materializes yeah. on the, um, let's see, of the capital city of Disrai, where Jefferson Davis has been keeping an eye on the ship and the prisoner shuttles. They're being offloaded to a nondescript warehouse near the outskirts of town, where a lot of civilian traffic just doesn't go. Now, is this near the, like, company? The cloning company? Um, it does... From what you're, from what you know, it's not near the headquarters. No. Okay, because I know we were gonna. I was at one point when I was talking when we had the big dinner and everything. I know I met the guy that was in charge, and he was gonna give me a tour of the cloning company and yep. all that kind of stuff. So, so I knew we knew where that was at. So yep. I was just curious if it was somewhat in that area or vicinity or something. Okay. It is not. No, the the headquarters okay. that you went through are closer to the palace and the center of town. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so to set up a duck blind, I'm going to need. Um, this is going to be a difficulty of. Ducks. Yeah, this will be a difficulty of four, of four to do it, um, in a place that you where you are not detected, and this is going to be a. The primary person is going to do, uh, control plus engineering, to set it up, and someone can assist with either control security. Control engineering or control science. I can assist the heck out of it, okay. but I can't do the. <laughs> um, Laxley could, if it's control security, she's twelve and a four. And okay. the focus of internal security. Um, no, not in this instance. And don't forget, this would be an activation for Rani, too, so she could always get a focus. Infiltration? Infiltration would work, yes. Funny, it actually has that now. Well, imagine that. She would. <laughs> okay. Um, so if uh, who's who's on point for the role? Has I got Loxley for support. Okay. No, no, she needs to do it. I'm support. <laughs> oh, your support? No, no. Primary, pri whoever is rolling the the primary role needs to be control engineering. Yeah. Oh, I don't have engineering. That's all on Ranny then. Okay. All right. Who's got Ranny? And is she up to date? I got Ranny, and I'll go ahead and add infiltration to her focuses because this is her activation here. Okay. We are intelligent, so it makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's the most infiltratious crew I've ever GM'd. <laughs> well, it gets caught every time. That's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> control engineering. Yep, control engineering. Now look at that. A focus is just magically there. Okay, so that is three successes from Rani. Who's assisting? And one from Bashir. Cool. Uh, you find an, uh, an alleyway not too far away from the warehouse and conveniently close to a uh, radio tower broadcasting imperial propaganda uh, the duck blind goes up in a matter of seconds just like you are trained starfleet personnel and just in time too because as the duck blind goes up a the vitars patrol wanders past does a cursory glance down the alleyway where you've set up doesn't notice anything out of place and continues on The alleyway is not the most comfortable place to set up. It sort of smells of a uh, uh, homeless detritus, but thankfully there is currently no homeless people actually here, so you're fine. They're all on the moon. Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. So, 
Uh, what do you guys wish to do now that you're in place? Uh, try to hack into the uh, television systems and the broadcasting. Okay. And you wish to do this remotely, I assume? Yes. Okay. That's going to up it, the difficulty by one, but we can do that. Uh, so this is going to be a... Uh, let's roll control plus science or control plus engineering. Uh, again, difficulty of three. Now, okay. had you... I'm going to I'll be a nice GM and s retroactively say that if you had any specialized intelligence equipment up beyond the duck blind, you could have let me... You could bring it with you right now, and I will take the escalation cost for it. Can't think of anything that we would take. Okay. I mean, besides normal, like, you know, like our, you know, like a uh, engineering kit and stuff like that. Okay. Big so, mustache. I <laughs> yes, yes. I know. Actually, I think with the blue skin and antenna, I think got the um, Groucho Marx glasses and nose would be more appropriate. Perfect. Perfect. Oh God. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. So. Well, as long I mean, we already did. This isn't this isn't for the role. But as long as our GM is going to be nice about it. Why don't we give the away team, just in case the duck blind fails, we could uh, go ahead and give them the Vitaris armor that we used the first time around. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, that would be an uh, escalation cost of two, so I'll take two threat from that. But you now have uh, enough sets of Vitaris armor to mask you guys, just in case. And... Uh, Turns out it might be needed because um, yeah, somebody just rolled the complication. Yeah, but your your um, a, your attempts to just plug in, uh, hijack the television signals, j blah, ah, and uh, attempt to interfere with the signals has tripped off a security measure within the uh, television, uh, within the uh, broadcast center. As soon as you do, you notice, or as soon as you attempt it, you notice that their encryption methods change. Um, ah, excellent. In such a, and they infinitely, be, they become far more difficult to break into remotely. You may have to do this from the facility itself. If you want an easy time of it. Yep. But... We're going to worry about that next time because we're going to cut to Team Surf and Turf. <laughs> Operation Surf and Turf. Yes. <laughs> As you guys are beginning to fly over the island. And do we know if the shuttle's been detected? Uh, you do not know that yet, no. Okay, so I won't metagame. <clears throat> yet. Uh, <laughs> the shuttle cuts through the atmosphere with the ease of a hot knife through butter, and very similarly does it penetrate the uh, cloaking, uh, ah, the duck blind of the island. However, instead of heading to the island, you instead uh, head east until you come to a hexagonal island made up of several other hexagons. The island itself is approximately 500 meters in diameter and is made up of six hex uh, seven hexagons uh, each of those are about 250 actually probably closer to 200 meters in diameter there are several uh, so solar panels laced into the lattice work and there is a large central tower which appears to be the gen the point at which it is actually generating the hologram there are several now that you're close enough to the island you see several power cables well you don't see it but your ship does uh, several power cables running from the island um, under running under water to the remote holographic sites you're also detecting several life forms on the uh, not several but six of them uh, they appear to be clustered around the uh, central structure.
In any case, to make sure that we haven't de been detected, Miss Jackson would probably just offload the away team immediately, and then probably just circle back and lay low to make sure, has just to st make sure we didn't trip any any alarms and just calms the away team when it's go time. Okay. So you, as the shuttle comes in to um, exfiltrate, infiltrate, exfiltrate. Unload, infiltrate. Yeah, to infiltrate and drop off its team. Um, it begins receiving light, uh, small arms disruptor fire from the individuals on the, uh, on the surface. We're underwater. Uh, are you underwater? We're underwater. Oh, you're. Oh, you're doing. Oh, I forgot about that. I'm sorry. I was imagining an airdrop onto the. My apologies. You are unloaded underwater, approximately 100 meters away from the facility. That sound about right? That's, we, we can swim that far. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the water is warm. Um, Starfleet brand wetsuits are pretty good. Um, how does Hanara do with water? That's my question. Being a cat and all. Cougar. <laughs> yeah. As long, as long as he's in a suit, he's okay. okay. Oh yeah, him. I still, <laughs> I keep forgetting that. Yeah. Cats and water, man. Okay, so you are not over water; you are underwater. Blub blub. <laughs> now, how many chargers do we have to set? Um, I will say that I'm going to make this a extended task, I believe. Okay. So right. this is going to be a, so the what we're going to do is this is going to be a, let's see, work track of 18. This is going to be a difficulty of three. This is going to be a resistance of three and a magnitude of three. <clears throat> so uh, the first thing is you need to, uh, approach stealthily, which is going to be a uh, fitness plus security test. So stuff like infiltration w would work well here. So that'd be between me and Hanara. That's right. So that'd be, you said fitness security? Fitness security, yeah. I got, I'll take the lead on that if someone's got Hanara. I'll go ahead and grab an ARA. Sure, yeah. So, yeah, one person take lead, the other person can assist. Use determination or not. Or use momentum or not. Uh, no. We still need it for um, other things possibly that may come up. Yeah, the actual boom boom. <laughs> yeah. The actual boom boom. Okay, two from Helsing. Okay. Nothing from Hanara. Okay. It's the water. Yeah. He doesn't. He's just a little bit uncomfortable, I guess. Yeah. You make the approach. Um, the problem is, is that the currents are not quite what you expected, and much of the currents are attempting to force you to the surface. So let me roll something here. Okay. That's one watcher, that's the second. Okay. You make it down, uh, so, you make it to the station and are finding the underground, uh, find that the um, hover generation and the power cables are far, far more secured than what your initial scans read them to be. Um, you have probably brought enough charges to do the job to demolish the facility completely. But it's going to take some more time. And, and the charges are generic, nondescript, yeah. non-Federation type charges. Naturally. So this is going to... So uh, now we move from fitness security. So this is either going to be a... Uh, control plus engineering or control security test for the primary person to figure out the best places for the demolitions. And someone can assist with 
uh, control security or control engineering. Now, Kellex was the only one with demolition. demolition. So how does, how does he look? And Kassat might be able to... What is it? Control oh, she? what? Security? Control security, yeah. yeah. Yes. Specialist Kalex is tech is uh, female, <laughs> despite the haircut and the lack of makeup. But yeah. it was the glasses that were throwing me. Ah, yes. I was gonna say I just thought it was a picture of uh, Cyclops. But... <laughs> I think Zell should uh, take the lead here with control security, and uh, Kasak can then assist afterwards with engineering. All right. Okay, I got Zell. And I'll go grab Cassette. Okay, I got Calix up, and he's got oh. control security is yeah. uh, eleven four, and got the oh two successes so far. Good on Zale. Uh, yep. Okay, here we go. And that's one from Cassatt. That is the three successes you need. Uh, so if um, whoever's rolling Zale, can you... So Vaid, could you please roll me six challenge dice? All right. And that is four so far. Which is... So after resistance, that's only one point towards the work track. You want him to use momentum to... To re-roll or get rid of resistance. Are we good with that, or do we want to save that momentum for the other? I just want to bank it. Okay. It's not crunch time yet. Okay, so that's only going to be one point towards the work track, which is now going to be. Ooh, three resistance. Thanks. That was two. <clears throat> okay. So, your next... Um, so, working under working underneath a hovering structure is proving on, with water just a bare meter or two below you is proving quite distracting. And Specialist Calix believes that she has made some progress as to where the explosives should go, but it's slow going. I haven't... Just, you know... People are just not meant to be down here. There's nothing in the way of gantry ways, walkways, or anything of the like. So maneuvering is tricky. Um, so attempting to set the demolitions is going to be a you know, fairly similar task, I think. This will be a control security or control engineering. We'll still go. Mm-hmm. Is there a, um, a talent we could give uh, Calyx that would help out? Okay, I just want two from Zale. Um, there's probably a decent amount of uh, extended ta extended task related challenges that she could. That's take what I was thinking of. And nothing and a complication from Cassatt. Interesting. Okay. Nah, I'm gonna use my one momentum and get rid of that. Uh, you need two. two. Oh, I forgot I am gonna keep that complication because I'm an honest person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So, um, Kassat, uh you lose. Uh, so in attempting to set things up, uh, you're buffeted by a wave and it washes away some of your explosives. Um... In, into the ocean. And you might not have enough now to demolish the entire platform with the explosives you brought. Well, go get them. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, sir. Now we'll just see what we can. Okay, so Kassad is actually going to attempt to retrieve the explosives that he dropped? No, 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 no. 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 Oh, How about, uh, I mean, even even though there's probably nothing for us underwater, uh, 
But what if we actually attempted to uh let's what if we attempted to actually go to the surface and then uh see what's up there if there's something that we could overload on on top of this uh well there were six people on six people on on the deck then uh <laughs> well, there's all right I'm trying to well we don't have to keep it down forever. We just have to knock it down enough so that the hollow field goes down, even just for a little bit. We keep going. So, yeah, no, we'll, uh, we'll go attempt to retrieve these explosives. Hey, um, they would give um, uh, Calyx in the nick of time. Okay. Is that a value? And it's a talent. I'll text it. it to you and you can cut, copy it in. They'll be able to get, um, whenever they succeed in an engineering or science task, they generate one additional work for every effect rolled. Nice. I mean, if you wanted to give that to her at the start of her activation, that would have changed. That would have changed the uh, the previous. Yeah, a little bit. Do you want to do that retroactively? Um, if the GM is uh, magnanimous as he has been made out to be. Yeah, I should stop throwing your bones, but at the same time, I like the story too. So. Hmm. Okay, so instead of that, that would have been seven successes, which would have been four uh, against the work track. Oh, ne never mind. I was about to say, they do not have engineering three, but they have science three, so... Oh. <laughs> it works. I was just reading it, and I'm like, uh... <laughs> oh, yep, good, good. Good catch. Oh, that was... Right. Oh, that was a security task. Never mind that, then. That would have been a... So that would not have affected the role. My apologies. Okay. Oh, well, engineering. Or oh, something. it was an engineering task. Yeah. Yeah. But so the task was engineering, so it wouldn't have worked. Yeah. She. Yeah. It, it was a security task to uh, begin figuring out the explosives. So yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, who's running Cassat? I've oh, got. Yeah. You could give it to Cassat. I he think might everybody's already have had Cassat up. <laughs> Should I take it off of Calix? No, it's still good to give him. Let's see, the requirement is the engineering three or science three, but anytime you succeed at an engineering or science task, you score a one. So even the way I read it, he met the requirement to get the talent and he did an engineering task. No, that was a security. It was a security task. Oh, security task. Never mind. So it wouldn't matter for Kasai either way. Okay. Is this a t chance where the uh, chat could be down again and nobody heard what I just said? Nope. I, <laughs> sadly, I heard you clear, crystal clear. Okay, <laughs> no. so. We're honorable people. We accept the complication. What's, uh, Trying to matter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, so Kasai's dropped the explosives. They've splunked into the water. And having done scuba diving myself, I know how bloody difficult it might be to find stuff underwater. So, what do you wish to do now? Well, like it or not, the best thing to do is to actually attempt to retrieve them. Okay. Um, Hanara might be the best one to go get it. This is going to be. This is not going to be part of the difficult. This is not going to be part of the work track, but it will take up one of the work. Well, you don't have to. It won't take up the work track time, but Hanara just cannot assist for the next couple work track attempts. Okay. Um. So Hanara, this is going to be a difficulty of. Uh, let's do difficulty of three test for this. And if you have something along the lines of 
uh, search and rescue or object retrieval or hey look a shiny object or underwater uh, operations those would be good things here you know he might be able to have underwater underwater operations right now my cat that loves water i love it because i don't think we, we didn't give him a uh anything for his activation did we no no and i'm trying to look real quick because i thought they did get some sort of bonus to perception uh they might be if you have you know, if you spent a moment oh, if it was... an advantage based on their trait, maybe, but... Okay. Yeah. I guess, yeah, because it's a support character, not an actual character. Yeah. I was just thinking... Uh... Yeah. There might be a Cation talent, but I'm not going to worry about that right now, so... Okay. Um, so whoever's got Hanara, uh, please roll me a... This is going to be a Daring plus Security test. Difficulty 3. And if you have underwater operations, that's a good one. Who has Sonora? I think I got it up. Yeah. Okay. That is two. Hmm. And I'm going to let it succeed at cost. Okay. So you find so you catch the explosives uh acting quickly after cassat drops it with his vulcan hands as cassat ponders what is how this is physically possible how a vulcan could be up un unstaged in such a manner uh your twitch like reflexes allows you to dive under the water and catch them before they sink out of view and you emerge victorious However, everyone else, everyone else is too busy to uh, trying to salvage the situation to worry about it. So, uh, next thing is placing the, uh, continuing to try to place the explosives you have, which again is going to be control security or control engineering. Um, still, this is a diff still going to be a difficulty three. And this is still an engineering task. Um, engineering or security, yes. Okay, that's two from Zale. Good start. Uh, so Helsing or Cassatt can assist. Well, Cassatt still feels a bit upstage, so how about uh, okay. Helsing? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, cannot control assist check. Control security? Control security or control engineering. All right, let me try engineering. I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> oh, that's confidence. Right. <laughs> and would I have to have explosives or infiltration, infiltration. covert ops? Infiltration, covert okay. ops, those work. Um, I actually didn't hit two dice, just take the first one. Okay. Well, you should have taken the second one. That would have given you momentum. But that is the three successes you need. Uh, so if uh, Miss Calix Zale could please roll me six more challenge dice. Zale, Zale, Zale. And that's six. Okay. Uh, so after the momentum roll, that is another two off the work... Or that's another three off the work track, I should say. Where is the... There it is. So we are at, it was 17, it is now 14. That is still not enough for breakthrough, I'm afraid. This is slow going. Um, the... We might have to use that momentum next time to get rid of a uh, resistance just to get a breakthrough. Probably. <laughs> so, um, Miss Jefferson, you're on the sh you are on your ship hovering and most likely have engaged the passive stealth, passive camouflage system. Uh, a Vitar shuttle. Floating. A floating. Yeah, floating. She's underwater. Ah, yes. Uh, your sensors are picking up a Vitar shuttle de descending to the island. I'll, I'll go ahead and calm the OA team on this encrypted channel saying that I'm going to have company pretty soon. Or are they headed to where we are? 
the, they're heading to your location, the, the Solar Island. Oh, joy. So we're going to have company. So, and uh, I'd like to try to actually attempt to lead them off their tail, since I already, even though I engaged the passive camouflage, so I'd still like to make a roll to attempt to make, be undetected while I scout, scoot through the water, and uh, I'll want to cause some big enough... Uh, I want to get a far enough distance away and maybe fire off a few phasers or but something, you know, something that gets a little bit of uh, underwater activity away from uh, the platform. Sure. Uh, Federation Dar- phasers? No. <laughs> Daring plus con, please. Uh, this will be a difficulty of two. Ship will assist with engines plus con. Making sure I remodulate the phasers to uh, not appear Federation. That engine's con. Mm-hmm. Okay. The shuttlecraft will assist. And what does the... What does Miss Jackson do? Uh, accident, I close her sheet. <laughs> oh, no, it no. happens. I have, like, all of them up minimized right now. A lot of juggling. I uh, yeah, said, I've cleaved closing a couple of them. <laughs> you said control? Uh, uh, what, dar- what am I rolling here? Uh, daring. Yeah, let's do daring security. I think that's a better Daring one. security. <clears throat> wow, that's uh, four successes in total, so you get two momentum out of the deal. You uh, create a bit of a light show. Um and then ever as the uh, as your shuttle departs underwater moving as moving as a torpedo would under uh, through the water by deploying a series of uh, countermeasures and fake phaser fire the shuttle the vitar shuttle is delayed or you have successfully drawn it off for the time being uh, now we go we turn our attentions back to the Solar Island, as the demolitions team once again attempts to blow something up. You've basically bought them at least another two or three work track time before they return. So, <clears throat> uh, you know the rules by now. Control security or control engineering. One person leads, the other person assists. Ooh, yes. nice. nice, Zale. That's the three you need right there. You get more momentum out of it. Yeah, let me see if Felsing can assist. I'll only roll one die this time. Uh, please do. <laughs> uh, you rolled the good one. So that is five successes. Uh, so two more momentum. And let's knock off some resistance. Yeah. Resistance is futile. Finally. So, Thank you. Um, uh, one to knock off two. Yep, one one will knock off two resistance. So six challenge dice, please, Zale. Okay, so that is five. Um, knock off one resistant or knock off one for resistance is four, which is not quite enough. Use uh, kill use one more momentum to reroll the zeros. Sure. Okay, uh, roll me two challenge dice, please, uh, Vaid. Okay, uh, that is the five you need for a breakthrough. Okay, so that will knock the work track down to nine. Brings the difficulty down to two. And the magnitude drops. That helps out a lot. Okay. So, Specialist Calix, it's... Um, between you, Kassat, and Helsing, you're able to figure out, you're finally able to figure out the best places to plant the explosives. The Vitar shuttle arriving has kicked your adrenaline into, kicked your adrenaline into overdrive, and you begin scurrying underneath this gargantuan platform like spiders, just without the actual eight legs and hairiness and desire to eat flies. Except maybe in Hanara's case. We're not entirely sure what Cations eat. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, Hanara, you're 
back and ready to, and able to assist in future tests if you desire. Okay. So. So despite the fact that the uh, shuttle, uh, that the Vitar shuttle is in pursuit, the attention that it has brought has aroused the individuals on the platform to begin a um, diagnostic or a sweep of the area. Uh, so this is going to require you guys to be hidden or somehow hide yourselves from prying eyes, which is going to be a control plus. So the leader is going to need to roll control security and one actually this is going to be daring security and one other person can assist with daring plus security as well probably me and Anara mm -hmm. and I'll go ahead and grab yeah she's got the infiltration he yeah. oh. he Alex. Hanar is confused to be female. Calix is confused <laughs> to be male. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use one momentum for a third die. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. And that's four successes, so you get two momentum right back. And there's another two successes, so I believe you're now maxed out. Um, so you have one floating point, which... <laughs> it went through late. Yeah. I already had it up to you. Well, yeah, the captain. So yeah, yeah. I guess we're taking this is the... much cooler. <laughs> Sorry. I think in the future we should agree which supporting character we're rolling yeah. for, and then just stick with that character. I think but... that's a good idea. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> uh, so for, Grand for the other away team mission, we'll do that. <laughs> so yeah, so six momentum and one floating which I would suggest you put towards the upcoming roll. Uh, so, mm -hmm. Helsing, please roll me seven challenge dice. Seven, not a one. Okay. I'll re-roll the zeros with that floating momentum. Sure thing. One, two, three, four. And that is eight total. Okay, eight. So even with the three resistance, uh, that will be enough to cause one more breakthrough. Excellent. So brings us down to four resistance left. Difficulty of one. Magnitude of one. <clears throat> and how much was it, how much work track is left? Uh, four. Could we use two momentum to? Get that final four? Uh, let's see. That would knock off three. Because we would have already burned the resistance. You had nine to, nine to start with and eight challenge dice. So what you could do is spend a momentum to... Or spend two momentum to burn off the three resistance, which would give you eight. And then you could spend another momentum to add to roll another challenge dice. So just get rid of, rid of the resistance would give us three more work. So just leave like only one left? Correct. So that's three momentum? Uh, yeah, three total for, yeah. So you would knock off two, three resistance and roll one more challenge dice, please. No. Okay. Well, it's worth a shot. <clears throat> Yeah, I thought it was like um, combat where you can use a momentum to add extra damage or something like that. Uh, that would have been, yeah, that would have been for like penetration or whatnot, which is oh, sad. that's a... sad. Uh, that... Okay, so you so close. Uh, so Miss Jackson, um, the Vitar shuttle is decides that you're not worth chasing and returns to the uh, returns to the solar island. So you guys have one last um, work track, one last challenge to make before they land. Um, control security or 
um, control engineering to light this puppy up. Take it, Calyx. All right. Use a momentum. Use a momentum. Everyone goes out. Yeah. So that would be no, we got to get this puppy done. Three dice, three dice. Three successes, so you get two momentum. Okay. And I got... And two more momentum from you. Ah. <laughs> nice. Now we're cooking. So, yeah. That would be... So I, bring, I believe that brings you back up to six momentum. Okay. Um, who wishes to push the button? Oh yeah, sorry. I guess we should go through for more formalities, because it's entirely possible you'll roll zero six zero challenge dice. So, uh, Zale, I think we're could, five. yeah, if you could roll me a uh, six challenge dice, please. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, on com with a uh, one signal from uh, Specialist Calix, you all drop from your perches into the water below, just as she signals the activation button and then the confirm activation button and a series of small but shaped charges blow up uh, separating the hexagons from one another dis absolutely destroying the center one and causing the rest to fall into the ocean below uh, into the ocean below ah, into the ocean around you as they begin to sink out of sight. The Vitars on board. Let's see what happens to them. Okay. Of the um, Vitars that are on the uh, platforms, uh, four of them um, begin to swim back to the surface after reorient reorienting themselves. They begin to signal wildly for for the shuttle that was inbound. However, as the shuttle gets closer, what are you guys going to do? GTFO. GTFO, okay. Uh, I'd say roll me some challenge die, some dice, but you already have five momentum, so that's enough. You don't need any more. Uh, how are you thematically getting the GTFOing out of there? Um, Actually, emergency have... transport aboard the the shuttle, or use our little submersibles and swim out of there quickly. Okay, I'd say I'd say we do this like opening cutscene of like Metal Gear Solid One style, but instead of like you know Snake using a submersible going in, like he said, we're gonna just submerse out. So completely. I mean, we're gonna allow the we're gonna allow the current of the explosion favorably, even though it took us so long to set up. <laughs> considering how favorable it's gonna take us, the current is finally gonna go to a direction that's actually gonna take us back towards the shuttle. And our submersibles are gonna give us an easy coast ride. And Miss Jackson is just gonna, even though we are shuttle's already pressurized, she's just gonna open up the back easy. Crew comes in, water drains, we're out here. Huh. And, and then all of a sudden you hear the music cut in and the cutscene <laughs> starts. And, uh, <laughs> da -da, da -da, da. Uh, oh, and da -da -da -da. do we go back to the Nighthawk or do we go to the alternate location? Because okay. we're going to be visible now. Yeah, you are definitely visible and there is Good. a Vitar shuttle. However, we go Im immediately to, to warp to a direction away from the Nighthawk and away from um, the gate. And then we have a predetermined rendezvous point. The captain and I have already worked out that will take several minor jumps around to get back to. <laughs> okay. Uh, first off, though, is the escape from the atmosphere. I said you could get out of there well enough. However, that was only to the shuttle. Um, because the shuttle is visible, and there was another shuttle that was on the scene, there's now a chase scene going on in the middle of space. 
Fate. Fortunately, though, the Vitars have never seen this particular sh model of shuttle before, so they don't actually know your Federation. Uh, I need a... We're, we're going to do opposed roles. We have roles. skulls painted on the ship. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do opposed roles here, um, Jackson. So I'm going to roll control security and ship's weapons. And you're going to... And the sh shuttle is going to roll... No. Miss Jackson, if you can roll Daring Con... And the ship will assist with engines plus con. Momentum. Yes, I'm going to spend a momentum for a third die here. Okay. So you only need to have two successes or more to beat the first round. <laughs> oh, God, all the crits. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Not necessary. Not yeah. necessary. <laughs> So you uh, have like three. six floating, what? So six successes total. So you're up to six momentum again, and like three floating. <laughs> okay. Two floating. Two because yeah. we used one. Right. Two floating. Yeah, that. I was going to have another roll, but with that you punch it, Chewy, and get the heck out of there. So, uh, because you have two floating, um, you can't. I will allow and, you to. And those two floating go into scene change, and we've infiltrated the entire complex and are ready to check. <laughs> no, not like no. that. Okay, so Sorry. the sadly, the those two will be lost, and you escape. And we are going to go on a quick break, and then we'll see what the um, team disruption is up to. So uh, let's be back here at uh, half past the hour, and we will see what happens next. Okay, and we are back. We find ourselves on with the team search and destabilize on the planet of Vax in the city of Desray, the capital city of the Vitar's homeworld. You guys are in your duck blind, sort of cooling your jets, waiting for the signal. Um, well, I thought we were having to make it to the uh, uh, television station. Ah, you wanted to. You wanted to do that. Okay. We can do that. I didn't think we had a choice. <laughs> that is true. Okay. So, I do not have a set piece for the television say station, so we're just going to have to play Theater of the Mind. So, uh, the the transmission station isn't a large structure. It's a, just a um, it's just a satellite uh, location. The main broadcast center is, of course, deeper in town, and this is just one of their relay stations. So it it is guarded, as all Vitar's communication structures are. There are three guards outside, and a close. Um, it is a a single story building. Uh, it appears to be cement wall or concrete walls, not too large in diameter. Probably only about fifteen hundred square square feet. Square meters? Yeah. I don't know. The size of the size of a large batch. Well, yeah. The size of a two-bedroom apartment, let's say. Okay. Uh, you don't see any windows. Uh, one door and three guards. Okay. Um, what time is it, roughly speaking? Good question. What time is it? Let's roll. It is roughly noon. Okay. Or at least as noon would be on the planet. Okay. Um, we're in full armor. I'm going to go straight up to the guard ah, and say, okay. your relief is here. Okay. Uh, roll me presence plus command. And this will be an opposed roll. As soon as I figure out their stats... 
Maybe they are. I'm assuming we're losing a momentum. This yeah, big uh, scene change. That was already taken but we, care of. Okay, okay. I'm going to still use a momentum. Okay. Okay. That's a lot of zeros. Uh, that's a lot of zeros. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh... And it's not hard for them to get a success. You were... He were... Our relief is not scheduled to arrive for another four, another ten or ten hours. Who are? What is your operating code? What? That wasn't the information I was given. <laughs> this is um, Patars. This is a uh, soldier. Da. Uh, whoever's act. Uh, stay there. I'm I'm Adam. I'm calling my commander. Is there a way for me to hack into their comm? Oh, like I guess if I happen to have uh, I think a thing on me, I guess. <laughs> if you had a thing on you, I gave thing you the you. opportunity to take stuff <laughs> yeah. for and yeah. uh, th thing as in um, I guess because I'm assuming I would have a comm system on me. I didn't know if I could potentially uh hack their frequency well, you could try your uh science you could try your science tricorder yes uh this is going to be a daring plus science test uh All no right. one can assist and it's going to be difficulty of two and i have hacking and theoretical con communications perfect uh, so either work. Work. momentum yes Daring science, right? Daring science, yes, please. Uh, momentum, how, how many more? Uh, that gets you one more dice. Did it go? Okay. Yep, it went. Oh. That's the two successes you need. Yes. <laughs> Good. As he calls it in, uh, you intercept the frequency and are able to generate a feedback pulse and <laughs> you um bashir even from your close even though he, he's wearing a helmet and you're wearing a helmet uh you hear the feedback squeal uh from his uh helmet and a small popping sound he tears the helmet off and uh, his ear is bleeding and he begins cursing the other two Vitar soldiers immediately uh, drop, or stop paying attention to you immediately and go help their commander. Are you alright? We're gone. Uh, fine. Ah, the... Move on, sir. Uh, the, the wounded Vitar looks up and just, communications free back. Faulty, commu faulty equipment. Ow! Stop! I'm fine. He shakes off his others, or those attempting to assist. He stands up. You had up. better take him to the medical station immediately to get that checked out. If only we had doctor's orders. Oh. If well, two ways to do this: you could try a presence command test again, or you can just spend two for the advantage. I'll take. I'll just spend the two. I'll spend the two. After that pure zeros, I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> so, uh, the wounded Vitars is escorted by his two compatriots uh, down the main road where they pop into a government vehicle and speed away to the nearest infirmary. Okay. Congratulations, well, you are now the guards of this facility. All right. We'll leave Loxley and... Uh, um... For, uh, uh, yeah. Ronnie hurt. Ronnie outside, and we'll go in. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, inside is a fairly close quarters um, setup full of banks and banks of computers, data storage tapes, dials, knobs, frequency modulations, 
uh, a small power or small redundant power system uh, failover unit and a single communications technician who is busy work working away and well he's not really he's sitting back in his chair reading a magazine which might which let's face it is not PG-13 rated because <laughs> what else are you going to do for it at work uh, so now what kind of porn do uh you don't want to the... know yeah, i was gonna on. say they're cloners Let's wait a second on. okay thanks <laughs> um anyway he, uh, noticing you guys entering he folds it up tries frantically to put it on a tries frantically to as stuff he's... it underneath some stuff and then he yeah as up. he's like freaking out and flipping out i'm gonna try to knock him out on arm strike on arm strike okay <laughs> Uh, yeah, daring plus security. Classic Kirk style. Daring plus security. Said, a post test. The two handed fist? Yes. With the class tans. Imagine that. Okay, you need to beat one success. Momentum. Momentum. Okay. I am. And that's two successes, so you get one momentum Yay. right back. <sighs> Roll me challenge dice, please. Oh, snap. Roll 20 fresh on me. Is it two? Or what is... What is... Yeah, I'm noticing roll, roll 20 is slow. Getting a bit sluggish for me, and me too. Well, just try to get back into it if you're able. Okay. All right, I'm two back. Two for unarmed strike, right? No, rolling uh, down. Yeah. No, it's... Two. two plus your security. Yeah, okay. so three total. Three challenge dice. So two and no effects. So he stays up, and he is—he's got more—he's got more stress than that, but not by much. He's a bit stunned, but will attempt a wild, um, something akin to a wild strike in your direction, asking questions. What the hell, sir? You had a bug on your back. Yeah, those miss. Yeah, those miss completely. Um, okay. So you win, and you immediately can make a reverse melee attack. So okay. Roll me. Fitness security. Yeah. Well. Well, that. This is going to be the goofiest fight ever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would have counted for something if he was actually making the attack, but that was just defense. But So that's that round of combat. It's now your turn. Okay. Can uh, that would be Vayed's turn. Yeah, Vayed. Yeah. Do you yeah. want to do something? Sure, I'm going to see if I can knock him out. Okay. Well, at least paying attention to the other guy. Okay. Try quarter <laughs> attack. Try quarter <laughs> attack. <laughs> Can this turn all into anime? Try quarter attack. <laughs> so it's got that nice little handle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can I trip him and be like, "Well, that's what you get for." <laughs> well, that just comes down. Wow, well, that just comes down to uh, your so daring security, please. <laughs> oh gosh. Meanwhile, Loxley says there's fighting going on, and I'm not there. I can sense it. <laughs> Okay. Security sense tingling. Well, you win, so uh, roll me. Um... <laughs> wow, you have more security than the commander. Cool. Uh, roll me four. <laughs> How many? Uh, four, please. Okay, that is two. Nope, let me just double check what that does. He doesn't have. Uh, target's not prone, maybe... Okay, so yeah, he goes down. He's still conscious, uh, but Vaid, you... While he is busy uh, scr scrum... Ah. While he's busy scrumming it up with um, your commanding officer, you step in and just give him a good jab along the um, legs and give him a foot sweep. He lands hard. But he is basically, um, he's out. So, Bashir, you get to m make an unopposed daring, yeah, just 
roll okay. your challenge dice. <laughs> okay, I was just gonna say. Yeah. All right. No one expects the leg sweep. <laughs> you have one challenge dice. Okay, that is four. Yeah, that's enough. Um, you <laughs> kick him hard, and he just goes unconscious. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. As I say, so, Lieutenant, uh, let's see if we can bring this system online and see what we can do. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so because you're actually in the communication system and it's not... Well, it is online, uh, it technically, is online. after yeah. I realized I said that. <laughs> so it's online. Just You just need to co-opt it, which will be a... Right. Um, let's do... Let's do reason plus science or reason plus engineering, please. And someone can assist with reason science or reason engineering. This is going okay. to be difficulty of two. I'll have Ronnie assist. Vid can take the lead. Well, Ronnie oh, no, and uh, Mark yeah, are outside. You guys are outside. So oh, it's my be. Yeah, I awesome. totally forgot. Yep. You're yep. right. You're right. You're right. So hacking right. helps. Hacking definitely helps. Yeah, you take the lead. I'll help. Okay. That's the two successes you need. Now, do you get any momentum from the deal? Let's find out. Uh, you only need, needed to roll one dice, but that's still one momentum. Oops, habit. It happens. Okay, so one momentum. And you guys have rested control. Well, you haven't rested control, but you've certainly gained backdoor access into the Vitar's communication system. It's The Vitar's have shown a decent degree of aptitude when it comes to military technology, but their communication systems are well behind that of Starfleet's. Okay. <laughs> so, can we? Is there like any sort of uh, satellite? I mean, I guess I want to see if there's any sort of it's like satellite, like over the moon or anything around that we can, you know, basically film. <laughs> of the uh, island like appearing or, or anything like that so we can okay. get like um, have it appear on everybody's TV set or TV yes, yes. Uh, if you had two momentum I'd give you the advantage of that but you don't so this is going to be a uh, let's see so... I'll give you threat for it oh. <laughs> Well, if you give me threat, then that's cool. Okay. Um, if you wish to give me two threat, I will materialize a uh, a satellite that is typically not part of the public system. However, a few clicks of the button, and you can tie it in with the typical propaganda communication broadcast network. Okay. And, however, I am now going to turn that threat around because... Uh, two Vitar soldiers are approaching the bunker, and their weapons are drawn. Only two? Only two. Are we going to be notified within the building? That's up to the people standing guard. You will. We'll have an open, open comm mic. Secure encrypted channel. Naturally. Of course. Squeak. I hear squeak. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Yep, or... that, that was that's at least more subtle than my ringtone. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, if we we're notified, uh, is there a way for me to go ahead and jam uh, the communications of the two that are coming? Um, we don't military. know yet. They haven't. So, so if down. they come up when. They get to the same distance that we got to those other guards, mm -hmm. and they challenged us. I'll challenge these guys with the same thing that we were challenged. Okay. So basically, our rotation has, isn't up yet. Yada yada yada. What are you doing here? Okay. Yeah, exactly. Kavrik reported. Kavrik reported that there were inter 
that there were other guards arrived just as he and his team were taken off presence. What is your unit ID? And now would be the time to jam them. Okay. So I start mouthing something. And it's like they can't hear it. Naturally. So, that... so they, do they lean, get, get a little bit closer? Uh, yes, they, they do approach you closer. And they they stop roughly um, two feet in front of you. Uh, you do notice the... that they have oh, their arm. They, you do notice that they have their hands on their um, pistols in their holsters. Did we get the unit ID of the previous unit? I don't believe you asked. No. We were asked on the, that first planet uh, the unit ID. Mm-hmm. And we came up with, and we got, and we got one. I'll use that one. Oh, okay. They, that causes them to stop and pause. One of them pulls up a, a pad and begins entering the, your are, unit ID into it. Are you having trouble? Are you having trouble accessing information? It's... It'd be terrible if you couldn't access any information. He scowls. <laughs> He scowls. Damnable transmission towers. Always overriding our junk. We've been having the same type problem. And he mentioned that person who just left. I'll say that guy's name. Kavrick, yep. He had Kavrick, his he had feedback loop in his helmets, his crew, and that's why we took over for him. I will I would need to confirm this and log it with the and log it as a I will need to log this discrepancy. I will enter your unit ID. Who is your commanding officer? Didn't we get that when we were there before, too? I don't think you got that much. Did we get anything, any commanding officer's names in our previous scans? Oh, have... What's the name of that that, that dude, um, Missile Boy? Oh, God. Uh, Grack, I think, something like that. Grack. Correct. We'll use his name. Okay. Uh, do me. A, let's see. Because that is a rather unbelievable lie. Um, I'll wink at him. And they seem to they they seem to fall for it. <laughs> I'm starstruck. Yeah. I know he's he's, he's an amazing dude. Hmm. Wow. All the stories about him are true. So it is true that he was able to destroy that he was able to destroy a one of those Starfleet ships and uh, survive long enough for a brain transplant. Wow. Not only that, but his his missile mine set off the the contagion and actually caused that Starfleet crew to forget everything. For periods of time, he said it was glorious. Would have liked to have seen the look on their dumb, smooth faces. And they <laughs> they begin to chuckle as they turn and walk away. Oh, one of these days. <clears throat> and it's about like thinking. Yeah. And it is about that time that you get the well the nighthawk receives the signal from um miss jackson that she has performed a successful exfiltration under fire and the uh ilsa is exposed i repeat ilsa is exposed all right we'll start recording and broadcasting okay now is does anyone happen to have a pre-recorded speech for such an occasion Nope, that's where it comes straight to the ca the captain. <laughs> All right then. Well, are the uh, I'm sure the uh, we have enough uh, communication hollow filters in place for me to at least appear like a distraught retired citizen. Absolutely. 
thanks to your Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon protocol. <laughs> All right, then. Well, I'm going to put on the performance of my life here. Okay. So I'd like to at least appear as a someone not necess not necessarily a like a random not I want to appear as a security person that personnel that looked like they were uh, part of the floating platform mm -hmm. a little bit distressed but not necessarily easily identifiable obviously because exactly. and I just want to start go ahead and start broadcasting. Oh, Captain! <laughs> one one quick thing. How about we use the uh, holograph of the uh, guy that we had in the holograph, in the, the one that I made a body for of the uh, the ship guy. Use him as the body. Missile boy. The celebrity missile boy. Remember, I built him in the holo in the holodeck. Uh, that's doubly me. Even after we save him too. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, it's it's horrible, but yeah, you could use him. Because we have his genetic code and everything in the system. Because I built him. I'm not going to do that. Okay. <laughs> Just I want to I keep as much allies as we have on this planet as possible. Uh, okay. Back to the captain. I can't believe it. It was just over just like that. I can't. They came, they came out of absolutely nowhere. Just these damn remnant constantly plotting at first like man I, the, the imperium long may she reign but it seems like we have bigger problems than we actually thought okay cool so the distressed um the distressed broadcast is brought over the entire is broadcast over the entire system and the uh, the entire system or the entire network communications network um, the civilian side anyways military separate channel but hey, there's enough of it going around uh, that they are now exposed to the Vitars that are kept in a concentration camp and the satellite is such that it gets some very very poignant shots of people living in poverty and squalor alongside a narration from the or blaming the remnants for the attack on the hologen as well as hopeful what will hopefully swell pu sway public opinion uh, at this point i need a daring plus science check from miss vaid uh, as the as a system-wide kill command is being sent from the capital. And I am going to spend whatever little threat I have left to increase the complication range uh, 18 to 20. Then this will be a difficulty of two, three test. Uh, can I assist her? Yes, you can. Hacking or theoretical comms work? Yep, either or. That's one success. Keep in mind, you do have a determination. Oh, there's no way for me to. Yeah, and Vade, if you use your determination, you could re-roll your dice. Uh... Oh, I was like, uh, I, I was looking at my values. <laughs> Whoops, different thing. Yeah. Okay, no, I'll go ahead and use my determination. If yeah. you have a value that works in the situation, yeah. make it work. You need to tap a value in order to play your determination. Oh. I don't know if any of these really work, to be honest. Okay. Used to hang with a bad crowd. That's how she got her hacking skills. No. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so the the broadcast la in total lasts for roughly one minute 30 and then a kill command is sent out from the uh, centralized station uh, which effectively cancels your access to the network and replaces it with whatever the Vitars equivalent of a um, cat chewing on electrical cables 
with the phrase, We are currently experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. <laughs> and at this point, the uh, those of you outside um, are realizing that several uh, military shuttles have taken off and are en route to your particular location. All right, so four to beam up. <laughs> okay, um, Chief Zell, if you could please roll me a transporter te transporter roll. This will be a, uh, control engineering. Uh, ship will assist, of course, with sensors plus engineering. And difficulty three. Bonk, sorry, bumped mic. Who's got Zell? Has the Nighthawk got one? I got oh, Zell if nobody has her up. And what did you say Zell was? Uh, control engineering. Hack under the Okay, I'm going to pop her. I'm going to pop her determination, her a value people are counting on me. I think she already spent it this round, didn't she? Oh, she did? Nope, I'm sorry. I let that go with threat. That's okay. Right. Yep, go ahead. All right, so pop that. And you said she was control engineering? Mm-hmm. Uh, you need to roll one more dice there. Because you, oh no, sorry, sorry, never mind. Yeah. Yep, yep. No, so she no. has four total success. Four total success, yes. So, um, as the military shuttles begin to scramble to secure all communication points, you guys beam out, as does your duck blind, uh, leaving no trace that you were there. And we will cut back to the transporter room. Get the layers right, Michael. Copy here. Paste here. And you energize on the platform. I have a clone. <laughs> <laughs> nope, we are not doing a um, Thomas Riker. That's story. a great way to. Yeah, that would be a great way to end the season. <laughs> <laughs> Got two Bashirs. <laughs> right? <laughs> One's bad enough. Okay. Zell wipes the uh, sweat from her brow and she tries her best to look stoic. <sighs> Every, everything, ex, everything all accounted for, sir. Um, she calms the captain. Captain, they're aboard. Very well. Maintain black alert and let's leave. Understood, sir. Welcome back, Commander. Thank you, Chief. Good job. Thank you, sir. Uh, need to remind you that my performance evaluation is within the next couple weeks, and I'd like this remembered. I will. Uh, so, as you guys warp away into the distance, is there anything that you guys would like to do? Don't think so. I'm not hearing anything. No wrap up scenes. Any. Okay. So. Within. We heading. Yeah. We head to Cerberus then next to get out of here. Pretty much, you will be meeting at the ex at the exit point of the Carceri Nebula, where the USS Contiki and two of her sister tugs are arrive on schedule to pull you, the USS Naginata and the USS Black Shield back to the Alpha Quadrant where we will pick up in Season 3. So, uh, successful season, guys. I'm so glad that we have made it through with no character death and no ship destruction. Well, okay, there was that shuttlecraft, but I think that was Season 1? I don't know. No, sir. It was... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, and that anyways. was on purpose. Absolutely. <laughs> so, thank you all for playing. Thank you all for listening. And I will see you guys next week for what will be the season premiere of 
the Alpha Quadrant Adventures of, of Nighthawk. So, bye-bye!